India Michelle here back with another video on why men have multiple females and then they end up failing when it comes to having a whole bunch of females but before we get into it follow me on Instagram at India underscore underscore Michelle and snapchat India.94 now let's get to it so you know I'm gonna try not to make this video too long I'm gonna keep it cut and dry but still give you good information on what I'm saying um or I'm about to say so why men have a whole bunch of females and they always fail. Now, I'm not going to say why they have, oh, well, is it because they want to go through the whole phase. Like, I'm not going to talk about the obvious reason. Like, it's okay, you know, to go through your play or your whole stage or however you want to put it. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're younger. But I'm talking about men that should, that's in a space that should be slowing down or not completely stop. Because you kind of have to wing yourself off when it comes to the whole stage, especially men and women, you know? um because you don't want to relapse uh, but why do men have multiple women and sometimes it's a and sometimes and not all the time it's a power thing just to say somebody is blowing up your phone just to say that you know you have females that's on your dick and you know you ain't got to worry about you know not having somebody uh that you can fuck on but, uh that you can um fuck on um every other night and this and that and the third but this is but what the real reason why i'm gonna get into this video is the failing part right so in the beginning you know let's say you juggling five i'm gonna say five five females right when you're younger it's cool to do it because nine times out of ten those females are not gonna be thinking about you and you're not gonna be thinking about them you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're in your late teens and early 20s, right? But as you get older and you're leaning towards mid-20s or late 20s, and it's about that time to kind of settle it down, it gets a little messy, right? And like I said in the beginning, as you're younger, you'll deal with, you know, a little petty shit with girls fighting each other. That's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to feel stupid as time goes on for them as well. Like, why did I even entertain his other lane? You know what I'm saying? We all been there. And, man, y'all been there with dealing with women like that. Y'all thought it was cute. But then it kind of, like I said, when you get older, it gets a bit frustrating because juggling those women is, it, it, it takes you, it, it takes you off your, um, off your pivot. You know what I'm saying? It takes you out, out the game in a good way. You're fucking up as an individual when you're juggling those many women and you're in the space where now you got a career going on you or or a pretty good job you got a car you got an apartment before you ain't have those things you was depending on mommy and daddy right so now that you're on your own well you should be on your own now that you're on your own you know now you got people that's that could be popping up at your job so now you you, you know your job is on the line you know what i'm saying or you know, and then dealing with those women, it takes you, like I said, it, it, it it's, it's time consuming, you know, with five women, 24 hours out of the day, seven days a week, 30 days a month, 365 days a year. It's too much to be juggling. It's already bad enough to juggle one, you know what I'm saying? But five, that's money and time. You know what I'm saying? Two of the most valuable things in a, a an adult person's life, you know what I'm saying? Especially a man. Um, to be sitting here playing around with women, that shouldn't even be a turn on to you. That should kind of be aggravating and you might want to cut down. So then, you know, this is how, this is how I feel like you should do it. You know what I'm saying? You got five females, right? Or maybe more, you know, if you, if you just that, you know, extreme with it, all those females, whether it's five or more, or even like, you're not, all of them are not on the same level, right? You might got Keisha that's, you know, that's good with cooking. You got um, Lisa, who's good in the bed. You got uh, Ashley, who's, you know, good with her money. And she's helping you financially to, you know, make sure your credit straight or whatever. And so on and so on. Keisha and Ashley, who is you, who you want to pay attention to, 
who I said, Lisa, Lisa, who's just good and bad. That's somebody that can fall off. So now you got four. Okay. And so now you, you know, you maybe got one other one, with this that's similar to uh, Lisa. So now you got three, you know what I'm saying? And now you should drop it down to two. So now you got two females. You got a Keisha and you got a, uh, who I said, I forgot that damn quick. Either way, you got two females that's on that shit. Um, Oh, Ashley, you got uh, Keisha and Ashley. So between Keisha and Ashley, who do you see yourself that who one of them is either going to end up that you can see in the future that can end up being an asset or a liability. You want to be with somebody that's an asset, you know what I'm saying? Who's who's about their shit within themselves, not just about being on your shit so they can come up. You want somebody that's on their shit. So sitting here juggling females like a Lisa, a whole bunch of Lisas that's just good for sex. You know what I'm saying? Don't know how to kink cook. Don't want to know how to cook or clean and shit like that. Why are you still at the age of 30 dealing with Lisas when you should be dealing with a Keisha and a damn Ashley who's on their shit, right? So then, like they say, and, and this is not really a birds of a feather flock together because it's not like y'all hanging out like y'all partners or something like that. But... It even it even um translate to even your relationship. If you're dating someone or messing with someone that's not on their shit. You're gonna end up not being on your shit. For example, me. You know what I'm saying. Let's just say five, ten years down the line, I'm big on the YouTube. Line. I'm one of the you know up there YouTube um channels on you know on 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 this uh app right on the social media thing but then i'm dating someone that's really not on this shit that like you can see a blind man can see that that they are an opportunist right so their dusty behavior could kind of rub off on me to a certain extent right you want somebody that's equal or or if not better than or than what you are right it's now when it comes to a man you you want the same thing you want a woman if you're an ambitious man you want a woman that's just as is just that is just as is ambitious as you are or let's say if a woman um that's you know she's not quite there but she you know she's trying and she might need a little push that's somebody that you need to entertain somebody that you need to wife up somebody that you need to take serious sitting here having a whole bunch of women and you think it's funny and you're like 32 it kind of makes you look goofy and it may, you're like you're a clown ass nigga to still be thinking that shit is cute at your age as if you're 20. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get money. It's time to grow. We got to live for the future and not for the now. Sitting here living for the now will have you having five baby mamas and five kids or more kids. And that's a headache. And you will probably never grow because you want it to be stubborn. So how do you stop that? Just like I said, you wing yourself off from the bullshit to people that's going to eventually if not already, an asset to you. Someone that is willing to be a partner and listen to what you have to say so y'all can both grow. Y'all can be the power couple and all, you know, what people always say. You know, you don't want to be with someone that, you know, you only with them because you just so happen to get them pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Or something happened in your life where you had to be with them because what whatever, you know what I'm saying? So... That's how, you know, you don't want to waste your time and opportunities, right? Because like I said, time is money. You know, time and money go hand in hand. So if you're sitting here bullshitting with a whole bunch of leases laying up, getting fucking and fucking and fucking, you're missing out on job opportunities. Um, opportunities that you don't, that you haven't even sought out, sought, sought out for yourself because you was too busy trying to lay up and trying to walk around like you the best man uh out here because you got a big dick and you make girls can do this and do that that shit is lame as hell like you know what i'm saying you could do that with your girlfriend or somebody that maybe not be your girlfriend but y'all working on doing that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it right there i feel like i kind of pretty much got the point uh like i always say i hope you was hitting that like button as i was talking and don't forget to comment at the bottom on why you feel men and really i'm looking for why well mature men who has a good head on their shoulders on their shoulders um why you feel 
men have multiple women and feel and even put in the comments have you been that man who was you know that guy who always had females and always had drama that's another thing that you want to stay away from that bullshit drama that will get you in some shit you don't want to have to always walk around and it's a girl here and a girl there and they're fighting each other and now you in a situation where you can't get yourself out of you know what i'm saying so yes leave me your little you know little short stories at the bottom um don't forget to uh follow my socials at india underscore underscore michelle on instagram and snapchat india.94 until next time with another video bye bye